I've always felt that if my workspace is disorganized, my mind is going to be disorganized. So once I found minimalism and productivity systems a few years ago, I really decided to pare down what I owned and organize my systems in a way that made sense to me. My name is Mayer. I'm a filmmaker, educator, student, and audio professional. This is my 2020 productivity, minimalism, quarantine edition workspace. That's too long. The desk is simply a slab of walnut that I got from Home Depot, sanded it down, and instead of using polyurethane, I like to spread this fusion mineral paint on it every once in a while. It really helps it sparkle and, and keep it alive. The legs are from Ikea. I don't know what name they are, but I can't pronounce it anyway. I really like how this looks. The entire system is powered by my 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro. I bought this mostly because I needed an upgrade from the 2018 because my keyboard had already failed once and I knew it was going to fail again. I do like the new keyboard, especially because I can take it anywhere and now I don't have to worry about it breaking and I like the tactile feel of the keys. When it's on my desk, I like to have it on this little stand and I can also fold up this stand to take it on the go. The monitor itself is the LG 27UK 850W they don't make it anymore. It's a pretty good monitor, it's 4K, but I do wish there were more ports, especially an extra USB-C port. I also have these Philips Hue lights on the back, and I can change these to any fun color. On top of that, I have the Logitech C920 camera. I really like using the Logitech MX Master 2S. I've been using it for a long time, and I haven't had any connectivity issues, even though I use it with PC, the iPad, and my MacBook Pro. For my keyboard, I've opted to go with the Apple Magic Keyboard 2, I believe it's called, in space gray. I do like the feel of this, although I would like to see what it would be like to upgrade to a mechanical keyboard sometime soon, because I think those are really interesting. I am a student, and I love to use the iPad Pro to keep everything organized. If I have paper, I will lose it. So keeping this at my side most of the time is super, super helpful. I love how you can just move things around and take really, really neat notes. I'm gonna do another video on this, so stay tuned for that. But the iPad Pro is definitely something that I wouldn't wanna give up anytime soon. One thing that I feel like a lot of people don't know a lot about is high fidelity audio. And that's where these come in. These are the Kef LSX speakers. When I purchased these, I knew that I was making an investment for my future 20 or 30 years down the line. These are high fidelity speakers that are absolutely incredible to use and to listen to. I love how they sound. They're very rich all around. These fit on my desk really nicely. I like using them with Bluetooth, with my phone, and with my computer. And I also plug in my vinyl to listen to and an optical from my PC workstation. Now that we've been video conferencing a lot more, I have this Rode microphone. I've actually had it for several years, but rarely used it. I really do enjoy using this on Zoom, mostly because I can sound better. And as someone who's an audio professional, I do enjoy sounding great. My cable management is pretty simple. I have everything in these Velcro tie rounds, and I've connected those to the wall, evidently not very well. They go into each side of my desk where there's a power strip. I also do like to game, and so I put my PS4 behind my desk so that I wouldn't be able to see it while I'm working or studying. This is my chair. I don't know what it's called, but I got it from Staples. I do enjoy it. It's, I think it was about 230 bucks, uh, but the back support is absolutely great, the lumbar support, and the headrest and the adjustment are all pretty nice. So I've enjoyed having this chair around. I do have a PC workstation, mostly because I do like to work with Pro Tools software on that more than I like to work with it on a Mac. Right now, this is also because macOS Catalina had an issue where they don't accept Pro Tools to play QuickTime files on this operating system. I really like my vinyl collection. It's pretty small. I think I have about 12 or 15 titles, but what I have really does bring me joy. I like to listen to these on nearly a daily basis sometimes. Behind that, I don't know if you can tell, but those are juggling balls and a Diablo. I've been juggling since I was seven. I really like juggling. It's a lot more impressive when I'm standing up. Right now, I do enjoy reading, so I come over to this area of my space. Lately, I've been reading Call Me By Your Name by Andre Asaman. 
The book is fantastic. The movie is also fantastic. I recommend both of them for sure. I've watched the movie three times and the book is even better. When I'm over here, I like to play guitar and this is also where I play PS4 and watch some TV. As I said before, keeping my workspace organized is very important. So I like to have my chargers available so that I don't have to do any wire switching and any extra lenses or microphones that I have available. And yes, I do, in fact, have a five foot Pulp Fiction poster. It's worth it. And that's pretty much it. That's the workspace store. I think we should really consider what we spend our money on. By spending money on these speakers, I know that I've made an investment in the audio that I have in my life for the next 20, 30, or even 40 years before they wear down. And even then, I could probably get them fixed. Maybe right now, working at home, studying at home, if there's something in your workspace that you think would improve your work quality or your studying quality, uh, say a pair of headphones because your kids are annoying you or your parents are annoying you and you can't hear your professors online or your coworkers, then investing in something that will last you a long time is a good idea right now. By the way, I wanted to give a quick shout out to the makers of this sweatshirt. They don't know that I'm doing this, but the makers of this are 180 Tied. This brand donates part of their proceeds to ocean conservation. It also looks amazing, so definitely check out their site. I'll leave it below, not sponsored. And that's it. I'm new to the YouTube game, so leave a comment if you have any questions or criticisms. I love to hear them, and I am excited to be on this path. Thanks so much. I'll see you sometime soon.